With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, which of the following statement is true? So let's find out here. So, so statement A is saying that the ratio of main speed to the RMS speed is independent of temperature of the gas. Let's find out here. So mu RMS will be equal to root three RT by m, root three RT by m, and here mu mean or we can say that it is also called as average mu average will be equal to will be equal to 8 rt by pi m so from this when we calculate the ratio of both mu mean mu mean or mu mean upon mu rms it will comes out to be this root will be cancelled by this root and we will get 8 rt by pi m into m 3rt so this rt will cancel out by this rt m will be cancelled out this m so we will get here 8 upon 3 pi so here we can say that there is a no term of temperature so it is independent of temperature so this ratio is independent of temperature independent of temperature independent of temperature so statement so statement a is the correct a is correct let's talk about b the square of mean speed of the molecule is equal to mean square speed at a certain temperature. So let's find out here. So here it is saying that mu mean will be equal to 8 RT by pi m as we discuss here. And it is saying that mu square mean it is equal to 8 RT by pi m. So it is saying that both will be equal. So it is not equal both will be not equal it is not equal to mu square mean at any temperature it is not equal so we can say that option b is incorrect it is incorrect so let us talk about c option mean translation kinetic energy of a gas molecule at, at any temperature is independent of molecular mass of, of gas so let's find out here so as we know that kinetic energy will be equal to 3 by 2 rt so by saying this equation we can easily say that it is independent of molar mass independent of molar mass independent of molar mass molar mass all right so option c is correct why it is saying that because it is independent of molar mass so it is correct option d is saying that the difference between rms speed and mean speed at any temperature for different gas diminish as larger as and yet larger molar mass are considered so it is saying that so this is saying that mu rms mu rms is inversely proportional to molar mass as we know that and mu mean is also inversely proportional to mo uh, molar mass so from this we can easily say that when molar mass tends to infinity ma means it is very high value means high value then both mu rms mu mu rms as well as mu mean will be tends to zero so both will be equal means we can say that at very high high molar mass both will be equal and difference between both of them will be diminished out so option d is saying uh, the correct value so option d is the correct so the answer for this question is a c and d thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today